find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. James and the Giant Peach, the musical, is based off of the classic Wild Dawn novel. It's about a boy named James who is dealing with the loss of his parents. He gets sent to an orphanage, and then from that orphanage, he gets sent to live with his two aunts who he's never met before. Right before your eyes, right before your eyes, wins me a wonder what else would we need? The other thing about this show is that it's written by Pasek and Paul, who they wrote hits like Dear Evan Hansen and The Greatest Showman. So this isn't just like a traditional children's show. Like this is written by like these big Broadway composers. So it sounds like a Broadway show. Oh dear me, we're the only living relatives of an orphan child thingy named James. <laughs> I play the aunt Spiker. I'm not a very nice aunt. <laughs> I, I'm not a milk and cookies kind of aunt. I, you know, I'm going to have him scrub the floors. It's kind of like a Cinderella kind of thing. The property of Spiker and Sponge is, is always a favorite, and you get to actually see them in action pickpocketing, which is always fun. Who knows what monsters we're gonna meet? A ten sting drag with fangs and a speed. I play Earthworm. He is very timid. He's almost entirely blind, um, which is a very funny aspect of the show. How are you gonna get the seagulls to come down here? Oh. Bait. We get surrounded both by sharks and by seagulls. Come and dead seagulls. This should be illegal. They kind of choose for me that I'm gonna be the bait. I kind of muster up the courage in the moment, and I, I somehow manage to convince the birds to get in the direction where they lift the peach up. That is a human boy. His kind rip off our legs and burn us with magnifying glasses. Uh, I play the centipede. He's a bit grumpy, and he has a bit of a dark past, but so does everyone. He just doesn't know how to cope with his. We were a pretty big deal in the bug world. <laughs> Well, that's until Spiker and Sponge sprayed everyone with insecticide. James has lost his parents, and the centipede has also lost his parents. Um, and they both learn that they're alone, but the family that they have are the people that they choose to be around. And when you get there, it's a place where you want to stay. And you know that the world is okay. Forgiveness and also chosen family are two really important things. James has no connection to these two ants, his actual family, but he's able to choose this new family of insects. That I think is a really important thing for people to watch. Unpack, we'll always have your back.